Hello and welcome to the episode 215 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Today, we'll learn about the Beatles' last performance at the Cavern Club, John Lennon's first solo acting role, and Patty Harrison's discovery of the Maharishi. On the 3rd of August 1961, the Beatles, with Pete Best on drums, performed at the St. John's Hall in Liverpool. It was yet another night arranged by Best's mother, Mona, who organised some evenings at the venue, on top of operating the Casbah Coffee Club. One year later, in 1962, the Beatles, still featuring Pete Best, performed at the Grafton Rooms in Liverpool. It was the first rock and roll night ever organized in this venue, even though, in the late 1950s, it was used for some skiffle contests the quarrymen had performed in. The organizer of the evening, an Albert Kinder, put together the Beatles heading the bill, Jerry and the Pacemakers, and the Big Three. Apparently, more than a thousand fans were queuing outside. Many had to be turned away. A real piece of history went down on the 3rd of August 1963. After almost 300 live appearances, this evening's concert marked the end of the Beatles' story with the Cavern Club, their last ever gig in the venue. Years later, in interviews, promoter Bob Wooler remembered that Beatles manager Brian Epstein promised that one day the band would have been back, but it never happened. The Beatles had outgrown their old second home in Liverpool, so to speak, and their fans knew that this was probably it. Tickets for the show had sold out in less than 30 minutes, and on the evening, the crowd was frantic and the cavern was utterly packed in a way that would never be allowed today. The Beatles' fee for the night was £300, about £6,320 in 2020 money. To give you a comparison, the band was paid £5, about £110, the first time they performed here. On the 3rd of August 1966, NEMS announced that John Lennon would have been involved with the Hard Day's Nights and Helps director Richard Lester for his new film, How I Won the War. The film, based on the 1963 Patrick Ryan novel about the absurd glorification of the war, had nothing to do with music, and John was to play only a minor role in the flick, that of Private Gripwood. The filming, as we will see, took place in September. Before closing the episode, let me ask you once again to please share this podcast with your friends, if you're liking it so far, that is. You can also visit www.simonmas.com support to see how you can help me to keep on producing the best music-related content I can. And remember that comments and messages are welcome too. Thank you for being fab. In 1967, apparently, Patty Harrison first heard of Transcendental Meditation and of Maharishi Mahesh Yogi, in one of the advertisements printed in the Times. The news, reported in Beatlesbible.com, is a bit controversial. For a start, as pointed out by the website, while the newspaper was printed on the 3rd of August, it is likely that Mrs. Harrison only saw it after she returned to England with her husband, Neil Aspinall, and Alexis Mardas from the holiday the party was having in California. On the other hand, in her book Wonderful Tonight, Patty recalls that she read the adverts in February 1967, while George Harrison was on tour. Which is impossible, since the Beatles had stopped touring by then. Anyhow, this would eventually lead to the Beatles taking an interest in transcendental meditation, further down the line. One thing is sure, this episode is over. Join me tomorrow for more stories from the four you love. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.